Hey, what's going on guys? It's Stubbs here. Welcome back to another video. This is another GT6 drag tuning tutorial. So this is for four-wheel drive cars. As you can see, I have a Nissan GTR Black Edition. And this is tuned, maxed out already. And I'll show you guys the setup in a second. It has 100, sorry, it has 1,121 brake horsepower. And it weighs 1,386 kilos. So, let's head on go into the settings. And let's take a look at what we have here. We'll start from the bottom up again. Uh, in the body, make this go as light as possible. I don't have a wing on this, so I have no downforce. If you guys want to put that on and uh, apply with a downforce, maybe you'll get a little bit of extra grip. I don't think you'll be able to get too much. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the weight reduction maxed out with pretty much everything, so you can get the car as light as possible. Power, again, give it the beans. Give it as much horsepower as you possibly can. Uh, NOS, again, up to you if you want to choose it or not. But I'll show you guys the time with NOS and without NOS at the end of the video. Drivetrain, fully customizable, uh, LSD, just put it to 60-60, 60-60, and then 5-5, because that's kind of a standard for four-wheel drive cars. Triple play clutch kit, current power shaft, and then torque distribution, make sure that's 45-55, give, uh, give the back a little bit more, uh, more power than the front. So, there you go. In the transmission, you of course have to do a transmission flip, which I'll show you guys how to do that now, if we go on to C. And of course, there's nothing there. Uh, but for the transmission flip, you go down to a fully customizable transmission. Uh, I think I might have to add up. Yeah, one sec. I'm gonna have to add all this horsepower again because I think it'll change the transmission. I don't know if it does it. With, okay, the weight is already removed. But I don't. I think it. I'm not sure if it changes the transmission or not. But either way, if I do that. I don't know if it did or not. Anyway, uh, but bring the final gear down to about 3.6. 3.6 should be enough. And then go over to max speed. Bring that all the way down to the left. And this is pretty much how you're doing it. How do you do a transmission flip? First gear, bring that all the way down to the left. Second gear, you can move it a little bit more to the left. Or you can leave it about where it is. Uh, you can mess around with the gears, of course, yourselves. Third gear, bring it past halfway to about... To about two thirds up, and then uh, fourth gear, bring that just slightly off the end, something similar to that. Fifth gear all the way up, and sixth gear all the way up as well. And then go to final gear, and then bring that all the way to 2.5. And there is your transmission flipped. Awesome. Now, if you go back into B again, into the B setup, so I can show you guys the suspension uh, 60 at the front, 130 millimeters at the back. Uh, spring rate, bring that uh, all the way up, front and back. Dampers, 10 at the front uh, for compression and extension. And then one at the back for both of those. And drill bars don't matter. Camber and tow angle, you don't need any of that. So put that all to zero. And that is pretty much it. Then, of course, you're racing soft tires to get the most amount of grip. So that is the drag tuning setup for four-wheel drive cars. So I'm going to go on the track, and I'm going to show you guys a time with this thing, both with NOS and without NOS. So, yeah. All right, so here we are on the track. You can basically actually drive this thing in automatic as well. I think it would be a little bit better if you do drive it with an auto gearbox instead of a manual. And uh, just because it, it like changes gears faster or it knows exactly when to change gear. Plus, this is a first gear start, so you don't need to change the second gear or anything at the beginning. So, this is the one without NOS. I managed to get about, I'd say about 8 seconds, 8.1 seconds. I think you can get it a little bit faster. And then this one is with NOS, which I got about 7.7 .7 seconds. Um... The reason why I know this is because I'm using my editing software, my video editing software to, to basically time it. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Hopefully it also helped you guys out to tune your four-wheel drive cars. Uh, again, thank you for watching my videos, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.